Not only are they Outland Trophy winners, but they're also Super Bowl champions with the Washington Redskins right. and teammates, right? Look at this. Teammates, can you believe that? We got to win a world championship together. We haven't seen each other in 30 years yeah. almost. It's been fun. And I haven't been back here in 20 something years. It's amazing. It still feels the same as when I was a, a junior running out. I was crying back then. I'm about to start crying now. It's nice <laughs> to be back. It's nice to be back in Utah. I was going to ask you, what's it like being back at Lavelle Bridge Stadium? Jason, what's it like for you? Oh, gosh, it brings back so many feelings, all the emotions. I feel like I'm coming out on the field back in 1985 to play Washington after they'd won the Orange Bowl to beat them 30 to 3 here, the whole nation watching on CBS. I mean, it was great, great memories here. Mo, I do have to say that Ty Detmer was just interviewed, and he said that if he could be anybody running out the alumni flag, it was going to be you. How are you going to respond to that? I, you know what? I'm excited because my kids get to see me in a role. Instead of grumpy old man, they actually get to see me like, you know, a, a former sh shadow of my former self. I think I'm trying not to break three or four things before I get out there, so <laughs> I'm just hoping I can do it, with, you know, with some dignity and respect. And, of course, Ty's always going to throw us under the bus. That's what he always did when he was, he was our quarterback. <laughs> did he really? Oh, wow. He pulled up to me at a stop sign in Provo one time. He's talking to me, and as he drives away, he throws a, a, a bucket of water in my face. That's the kind of guy Ty is. He's hilarious. That's a quarterback. I think that all quarterbacks quarterback. are like that. Yeah, aren't all quarterbacks like that. So, so BYU is rocking some throwback uniforms today, something you guys might be a little familiar with. What do you think of those, Jason? Oh, I love it. I mean, hey, Royal, Royal Blue is branded to the world in that national championship year. So anytime they're out there in that Royal Blue, it brings back all my memories. I mean, I just the emotion of it. It's, it's really literally part of you. I love it. Mo, what do you think? It's clean. I mean, I, I remember my first game here, JV against, against Ricks, and I ran out in those colors, and it was just awesome. It's awesome to be back here, and it's fantastic to be back. We're celebrating 150 years of college football. You guys played 30-plus years ago. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not trying to date you guys or anything. Yeah, yeah. I like how you did that. That was, that was really subtle. <laughs> A little subtle, yeah. What do you guys think is the biggest change from college football now from when you played? Well, you know what? The game keeps getting bigger. I mean, I, th I think the game of f American football is America. It's Americana. It's part of our culture. Nobody else in the world can do what we do with this. It's such a wonderful game, and it just continues to grow. The game's changed a little bit, um, you know, as far as with hitting and the hitting rules. And we were pretty, we were the assassins back in the day, and we literally just killed each other. And <laughs> the game's safer now, and, and I'm okay with it. So it's changed a little bit, but. Really, it's still football. Yeah. What do you think, Mo? Well, being Canadian, I, there's a spirit in Canada, in, a, in the United States, about athletics, and it permeates more than yeah. just sports. It's a, it's a, it's a culture, it's a nature, and it's how it brings people together in this really vibrant way that we don't get in Canada, and that's just grown. And it's fantastic to see like they care more, nutrition, exercise, things like that, and you see it being done at such a great level. And so, being Canadian and coming and seeing it being done at the forefront here in, in the United States I'm always amazed by it because where just where they take it and what they do and how they could incorporate it so it's more than just the game it brings a, a life to people more outside of it so I'm really kind of neat it's neat to see it yeah. well you are both phenomenal it's an honor for me to be here with you guys thank you so much for taking the time thank you very much we love being here part of the BYU family all right have a blast during the game Spencer